Hey everybody, it's Editing Julie here. I didn't do an intro to this video, so I am now. This is a first grocery haul in our new house video. My husband has been working remote and we just decided to move closer to family. So here we are. Uh, I think the whole process was like six weeks and we were moved. So um, yeah, so that's what this is. This is a new house uh, grocery haul. So some of it is like our first food that we bought when we moved in and then just a few other things the random things that you've got to get when you move into a new place um so i hope you enjoy that my next video is going to be a kitchen tour so if you're interested in seeing that be sure to subscribe and then also i did a pantry organization video um i did a pantry video in the past in our old house and my pantry is smaller in this house than it was in the old house so i had to kind of rework the system and i just used what i already had so um, it worked out. So if you want to see that video, be sure to subscribe. Like this video if you like it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye. All right, so this is what I got, and also some stuff in the fridge and freezer and around the house. I'll show you what I got there. Always needing oatmeal. I usually buy the Walmart brand, but it, um, I think they're out when I place this order. So I got the name brand brand, but usually I'll get the cheaper one, and it's just as good. <laughs> um, the Dave's Killer Bread, I like their hot dog buns. I have some, or hot dogs, um, hamburger buns. I have some hamburgers frozen in the freezer. And then they're just their regular bread. I really like their sprouted bread, but I think they were out of that or something. I got these stainless steel scrubbing pads because they work really well, especially when you burn stuff. And I burned some popcorn and um, so they really work for getting all that burn stuff off. I got a cantaloupe, which I'm gonna cut up today for breakfast. I got some, don't mind my dogs in the background. Uh, wild berry preserves, which are so good. And also some creamy peanut butter. I usually like to get the huge size. Um, I think it's like the 24 ounces. I mean, not huge, but bigger than this one. And they were out of that, so I had to get 16 ounce one. And then I got some uh, onions and a few sweet potatoes. Apples, my kids love apples. I got some um, pot mitts, I guess is what they call them. <laughs> um, mine were looking really, really bad. They were like ripped and everything and the stuffing was coming out. And then I got this honey, which is amazing. And I always break lids either on honey or on syrup. Um, I break this one sometimes by accident. And then I got some avocados, two of those. I got potatoes. I was actually going to get a different kind, and they substituted these, but that's fine. They're actually organic. Um, I think the ones I was getting weren't even organic, so. And then I got some white popcorn. This is, like, the cheapest snack. I think it's, like, a dollar something for this bag. And we can make several, um, several servings, I don't know, several big pots of um, popcorn with it. And I think I'm going to invest in a popcorn popper, like an air popper, because the last couple times I've been making popcorn, I've been burning it. So <laughs> I think I might just give in and do that. Um, I got a shower curtain liner for the kids' bathroom. I really used up all of my Sharpies on the moving boxes. So I'm getting some of those just to have, because you can always use a Sharpie. And then these I got for my chairs. Um, we had to put in like faux wood flooring in our old house and now we have that really soft vinyl or whatever it is so i just wanted to make sure my chairs weren't gonna slice it up um one of my chairs or two of them actually were missing um some of the pieces that are supposed to go inside the little leg of the chair so i got these and i put two of them in each one and then i put these on all the chairs so hopefully my flooring will be saved this is for our master shower we have a glass shower enclosure so this is a squeegee so it keeps all the water from building up on um, the glass and then this because i just moved in you know no i'm just kidding i always need dry shampoo i use that a lot my hair is pretty oily um so that helps me um let's see what else let's go to the fridge all right, ignore the pizza and the candy. We actually moved in on Halloween night and had no food. So we ordered pizza and we bought some candy at a home improvement store. <laughs> so, all right, so up here we have, this is a whole milk plain yogurt. I love cottage cheese. Um, 
for the protein. I got myself Chobani Greek yogurt, um, also a good source of protein for me. And then I found this for my daughter. It's unsweetened coconut milk, and it's in a big container. Usually you can only find them in the small ones, so I was really excited when I saw the big ones. And we got some eggs. I want to find a local source for those, like I used to, I used to get mine local. Um, but these are really good. Um, and then this is some homemade almond milk. This is chili that was in my deep freezer. <laughs> um, and then I've got chicken breast. Apparently I got three of them. I'm not sure exactly how that worked out. I think they had to substitute or something. Um, and then I've got the uh, ground turkey. So I've got ground turkey and um, chicken breast. I'm going to be trying to do some meal prep get on the uh, vegetables and lean proteins bandwagon. And then I picked this up, which I have never tried. My kids always like plain, but then sometimes they don't eat it all, and I think plain is kind of boring. So I got spinach and artichoke hummus, which that was good, and then um, olive tamponade, and that was really good too. So I actually made a sandwich last night, and I put half and half, and I thought they were both good, so I just wanted to test them and see. This is champagne from our um, title agency, which I forgot to get orange juice <laughs> so that's gonna wait for next weekend when my family comes over and we can do mimosas um, and then I got some cauliflower <laughs> and some I'm having a hard time thinking it this is I just woke up um, cabbage and then we got some oranges the kids love oranges and apples and then I got some romaine some celery some carrots some zucchini and a cucumber so there's that. And then down here, we got some cheese. This is actually Cabot also, but this is the cheaper um, size. If you get the two pound and it's from Walmart, it's like eight something and that's like a good deal for Cabot. My cousin actually sells his cow's milk to Cabot, so we like to support Cabot. I've said that before. <laughs> um, and then I got some lunch meat and I got some of this protein almond and cashew milk. It's got like pea protein in there. So if I want to up the protein in my coffee, um, I'll do this and then like some collagen powder in there. Then up here I got some butter and then my husband wanted some of these water bottles. Our neighbors were so nice when we moved in. They gave us waters and ginger ale and then um, another different neighbor, the boy gave the person that was setting up her internet a Gatorade and he just thought that was the sweetest thing ever, like to have the hospitality. So he asked me to get some, uh, some waters. I don't know, I think he wants to return the favor. Anyway, so um, then this is just stuff I already had. Some stevia, apple cider vinegar, some olive, sesame oil, Worcestershire sauce. How do you say that? <laughs> um, this is actually my mom's stevia, she left it here. So she's the one who got me on the stevia bandwagon. That's chocolate. This is a ground flaxseed. Um, cod liver oil. I don't know how I feel about that anymore. I feel like it went out of the good graces of the people, and I'm not sure exactly what happened. But um, those, that's really old, though. And then we got capers, some probiotics back there, a culture for yogurt, and some yeast because I make my own bread and need that stuff. Okay, this I already had, I brought it with me. But, and this I already had all, also, these are almonds from Costco, but I bought these blueberries, peas and carrots. Did you know peas are a high source of protein? And then um, a spinach and a vegetable mix. Um, I wanted to get a big bag of this. I don't do this, my kids love the pineapple, strawberries, peaches and mango, and I don't have to chop any of it up. Um, and then strawberries, they, I'd asked for one big bag and they gave me four small bags, so what you gonna do? So, that's all I got on the food front. Pads for the kitchen because I have this one over here. Um, part of my messy kitchen, I'm gonna clean that up later. <laughs> for this, uh, for the sink, I have one, and so I wanted to have one for the stove. This I actually got from the home improvement store, but I thought it was so pretty, so I thought I would show it on here because I don't know if I'll show it with any sort of house tour. So this is just for reeling up your hose. I thought it was so pretty. Part two, I got this three drawer organizer. I love organizing my kids clothes in it, just like stick it in the closet, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Then I got one of these bowl, brush, plunger, and caddy sets for each of the bathrooms. It's got like a gray handle, bluish gray. And um, I thought it was cool that it had like a two in one. I also got this um, organizer. It's like a shallow organizer for under the boys' bed for their Legos. And then this is a dish rack for the kitchen. Then I got a dish drying mat to go underneath the dish rack. 
It has this pattern on one side and it's reversible and it has just gray on the other side. Orange juice for the champagne for this weekend. Then we really like these chicken and maple breakfast sausages. I tried some from Costco and we just didn't like them as much. And then I got a bunch of frozen vegetables because I had gotten a couple of little packs, but I wanted to have a lot on hand because I want to eat them more. Um, and this is just where I'm at right now. This is gonna help me really add more veggies to my life while I'm getting situated and my life is all chaotic. I can just dump them in a pan. These are really cool, roasted, or I wanna roast them, but it's a root blend, beets, carrots, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. So I was thinking about dumping them in the air fryer. Vegetables for soup. I was thinking if I have some lentils or something, I could cook this up in some broth with lentils and then blend it and see. Uh, and then I love this stir fry. This is so, so yummy. It's got those water chestnuts, which I just love. And the little carrot, the little um, baby corn. So good. So I really love this pack. So this says it's reversible, but it's got this little tag here, so I'm going to have to cut that off. But I thought this would be nice here. This is the large size. If I wanted to get the small, it would have fit in here, but the large won't fit in here. Um, so I just got this little rag. Usually I just use a towel, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little dish drying mat. It'd be nice looking. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry for the choppy style of this video. I just wanted to have a first grocery haul video in the new house. And so I did what I could to make this video happen. And, um, but I, I'm really excited about posting on here more. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye.